Hi everyone, it's uh, Sunday the 19th of July and I finally got to Malta as you can imagine um, from the flight on Thursday um, when I got here very very hot and humid um, <coughs> I've forgotten how, how hot it can get over here um, and Thursday night well it was um, it was terrible sleeping I mean I had the air con on it was about 30 degrees um, when I got here and even at sort of 2 o'clock in the morning it was still 26 27 degrees um, but today um, I'm just about getting used to the weather now um, it, fortunately there's been a bit of a, a nice breeze uh, which has kept the temperature down but um, I got the bus today and went in up, up into the village um, only got the bus because it's a very steep hill to get up, to get up there and um, last time I tried it when I came here in March it nearly killed me um, but as I say coming back I got the bus back um, and I still was in the sun it was absolutely baking so I managed to find some shade um, so yes it's very very hot um, it hasn't really dropped much below about 30 degrees in the daytime here um, and looking at the newspaper today uh, they reckon next weekend it's going to be up to 34 degrees which <laughs> you know I, just, <laughs> I knew it was going to be hot in this place but um, not that hot anyway I'm sat on my balcony um, a few things I have discovered um, since I've been here is lots of things start really early in the day um, over the road from where I am there build, building some apartments and believe it or not the builders over here start at 6.30 in the morning and work till 4 o'clock in the afternoon but you know to be fair they haven't been making much, that, that much noise um, I went out for a little stroll um, Friday morning about 7 o'clock in the morning and there was already a dozen people or so in the sea um, and then this morning, Sunday, um, I was woken at 4.30 um, by a bin lorry. <laughs> so, as I say, they they do start things rather early here. Um, but yeah, again, it's something I'm going to get used to. Night times, it's not that noisy, I'm, even though I'm on a main road. Um, a lot of hooting and tooting of the car horns but I think that's just the way they are over here it's more of a, a warning you know I'm here rather than you know get out of the way or do something stupid um, if I'm not looking at the camera or directly at you it's because I think I may have left my tripod back in the UK so I'm having to hold the camera um, in my hand and looking at the monitor I can see that I'm not looking particularly at you, uh, but I'm doing my best. Um, I won't bore you with too much more information at the moment. Hopefully this sort of has been recorded. I've been having trouble with internet and trying to get a new phone number uh, since I've been here. Um, I was piggybacking off the uh, router from the restaurant below me, but um, very, very, there you are, there's a car hooting. Um, I have found it very unstable the internet connection it seems to take forever to connect I mean considering I'm only probably I don't know less than 20 feet away from the router be it on the bathroom um, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty poor signal but hopefully I'll get all that sorted out for myself soon um, it's currently 20 past 1 here on Sunday afternoon as I say um, I've experienced my well, a couple of um, Maltese uh, hospitality, well, not hospitality, but uh, helpfulness and friendliness. Um, I went to the local shop uh, just up the road um, on Thursday night and I'd left my glasses back at the apartment. And so I walked in and said to this girl, Oh, I said, you know, I've been in a strange shop, I hadn't got a clue where he was. And I said to the girl, um, Oh, I've 
to get my glasses so I'll have trouble seeing what I'm looking for so she asked me what I wanted and literally went around the shop and collected it all for me which was nice um, and then yesterday um, I went down to the uh, restaurant below me where you can get a drink, you don't have to eat um, had a couple of pints of chips with a local lager um, paid for the first pint, went up for the second pint and the guy behind the bar said to me do you want me to, do you want to pay me now or pay me later so <laughs> I don't know whether that means I can get credit or what but um, I did pay on the spot so um, yeah, a couple of nice uh, touches there um, in my next video I'll tell you about my experience of coming over here from London Heathrow I'm very very surprised in some respects with the way certain things were done um, but as I say I'll tell you all about that one in the next uh, video in the meantime hope everything's okay where you guys are and um, take care and I'll speak to you soon bye